Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Man, we're gonna work on the Datsun today. Uh, I've been, we've been trying to get this thing running. It's been sitting for so long that the whole fuel system is just garbage. The tank is completely rusted out. So we're gonna take all of that off. We're gonna put a new fuel pump in it and we're gonna hopefully hear this thing run again. Just to catch everybody up, this is a 1995 Nissan hard body pickup. Well, at least all of that is. You see this? That is all Nissan hard body with a 1970 Datsun pickup body being grafted to it you know what i mean so that way we got the firewall we've got all of the uh heat and air everything we got all the amenities from 1995 man fuel injection power steering the whole nine yards we're talking disc brakes cruise control you name it man air conditioning in case i didn't say that already but before i can even get going on that i've got to clean this shop up you guys y'all's gonna have to excuse me for a minute it's a pigsty in here i've got stuff left over from previous projects I got stuff laying around from where we was working on the riding lawnmower still. I gotta get this stuff picked up. Don't even get me started on the garbage. Look, it's crawling up the wall, y'all. We gotta do something about this. Well, hell you guys, I uh, got the shop all cleaned up and we've lost power. Apparently, uh, we had a tornado come down the block. It even blew my sign down, you guys. Look at this. Found this laying on the ground up there. Snapped it right off. So we'll have to figure out something on that deal. Not really sure what to do just yet. So it broke one of the posts off. The other post is still stuck in the ground. I thought we'd just go out there and pluck it out right quick. Uh, give us a chance to check up on the old tractor, make sure it's still working right. Well, that's the end of that. So I'm up here on the roof of the shop. Seems as though some branches from the storm have blown down against it and we're gonna have to trim a bunch of stuff up. So I've already went ahead, trimmed everything, but unfortunately it rubbed a hole in right through the shingles. Yeah, we got a little bit of an issue there. So I'm gonna nail some shingles on right quick. Just got my last one pieced in. That ought to do it. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Let's clean up our mess and get off this roof before I fall down and break my neck. Sketchiest ladder ever. I appreciate everybody that checked on me, made sure that we were okay uh, when that storm was coming through. I had quite a few of you guys uh, wanting to make sure I was all right. Hey, it came very close. Unfortunately, the people around the block, they didn't fare out so well. Our thoughts are with them, and hopefully they will have a, a speedy recovery and get back to good again, man. That is so unfortunate. I couldn't even imagine. Well, we got our electricity back on. Now we can finally show you guys all that hard work I just did. Man, I've been cleaning on this thing for hours. It's looking way better. Start over here. We got my chop saws and everything all set up. I uh, got a brand new cabinet. Thanks to Mrs. Beard. She got that on sale. Got it really cheap. Pretty cool. That took the place of that big shelf that had the racks and just loaded with junk, you guys. I got that thing out of here. Uh, kind of shuffled my cabinets around a little bit. You see here, that's the order that they're in now. Got my other toolbox over here. Uh, look at this over here. This is what I really wanted to show y'all. Uh, in the middle, you guys remember all that clutter we had? I mean, dang, man. We got a lot of room, tons of room to work on stuff. Uh, we'll come up here, we'll kind of look around. Uh, we've got my, all the uh, workbenches and everything all the way down. Check it out. Plenty of space to work. Got all the workbenches all the way around. Look at this. Come in here and look at all the tools. Everything's all organized. Nice. Gotta love that. Man, I organized all the drawers, y'all. I ain't even playing. Every one of them, no matter where you look, they're all organized. Look over here. We'll come over here. Look at that, boy, we're organized, check it out. I'm especially proud of this corner over here, check this out. You guys remember how cluttered all that was? Check it out, nice and clean now. We added a little bit of lighting, what do you think, man? Can't have too much lighting, right? 
So anyway, we got it all figured out all the way around the shop. Everything is nice and clean. All the walls, everything is orderly. Got a little bit more wall art. Look at there. Did you guys think we were going to get rid of that, did you? No way. Got the breather too. Hell yeah, check that out. You didn't think we were going to throw that away, did you? Hell, I don't throw anything away. As for right now, let's get started on this Datsun finally. So last time we did a video on this truck, we actually pulled the sending unit and everything out and discovered that the inside of this tank is complete. I mean, it's got like handfuls of rust. Uh, this thing was all rusted up and everything. So I've got, got a new fuel pump and everything. I went ahead and put it all back together just to keep track of everything. And now we're just gonna kind of uh, pull all this off. Yeah, I gotta get these hoses back off. Golly, I can't believe I've had all this apart already and it's still this hard to get off of there. But there we go. Uh, Plugs unplugged, little vent tubes unplugged, both the lines are undone, and then of course this is already just out here floating around. There's only a handful of bolts that gets this thing to drop down, and it's pretty simple. This is just a dust shield right here. A couple of bolts will pull that off, and that'll expose the other bolts underneath that actually pull the tank down. There'll be two, I believe just two in the front and two in the back. Let's find out for sure. Break out the big boy on that one. Got our half inch break over, kind of upgraded from the 3 8 stuff. We should be able to break it loose with this. Yeah, there we go. Now we're moving. Moving on back here toward the back. There they are. There's that one, and then I believe another one next to it, and another one next to that. So three on the back side, not just two. fight us I guess it's always got to be that one guy let's come around here to the top side of it hit it with some of that WD-40 that ought to help it a little bit oh, it's already it's already moving I don't hear any snaps that's good all right we can switch back over now she's gonna come right on out of there I'll just bet you All right, tank's coming down already. Try to maneuver this out of here without dropping a bunch of dirt in my face. You know what, there's another one. There's three up front too, y'all. See if we can maneuver this around. Let's get our plug out of the way so we don't mess up any of the wiring. Hung up here. Jack stands in the way. Or otherwise, it would have just popped right on out of there. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, we're just hung up right there on that jack stand. Now we're good. So in case you missed it on the last video, check it out. Uh, that's fresh gas. All right, I poured two or three gallons in this thing and look at how nasty it is. Uh, it's not supposed to be brown, as most of you know, right? So we got our work cut out for us. Hopefully I can save this tank and get some use out of it and not have to buy another one. But that definitely remains to be seen. We'll find out in a minute, I guess. Let's see about popping the filler neck hose off. Get this out of the way. We don't need this on here right now and it'll make it a little easier to gain access to the tank to kind of clean it out you know not having this in the way hit this guy up a little WD needs all the help it can get it looks pretty crusty what are the odds of either one of these coming off without fighting us they look like they've been on there a long time Neither one of these happened to come off of here. Okay, there's 
one. This one. I want to be careful because I don't want to mess up my fitting coming out of here. But I think we're going to have to get a rough on this one. We might have to cut it off. so brittle it just split on the end so maybe we can just trim the end of it off and reuse it I don't know you see how nasty that is man that's bad golly we're gonna fill the whole bucket up really I did not know I put that much gas in it <laughs> we got lucky there I was about to have to break out another bucket uh, that pretty much took care of it we're empty so yeah, for anybody that might have missed the other video, this is what we're working with here. If I don't get my arms stuck. Yeah, that mess right there, look at that. So decided to bring it on down to the car wash. I'm gonna rinse it out here. Where, that way it can go down into a drain and not down into my creeks and all of that. You know, I don't wanna mess up the wildlife. So anyway, I'll get started on it. Always tell when we're in the city, always with the sirens. Well, hell, we're on a rescue mission, I guess. Uh, somebody ran the tractor back here off out in the back 40 and ran it out of fuel, so this ought to be interesting. Hopefully, uh, he didn't crank on it and run the battery down and suck the uh, fuel lines full of air and all of that. With it being a diesel, you guys know, they could be rather hard to start back up when they run out of fuel. So we'll find out in a minute. And no, I, did, I wasn't the one that did this. Kids, gotta love them. Man, I have no idea how far back in here he went. I'm just following the trail. There it is. I see it now. Let's go see what what he got me into. Uh, hopefully it's not stuck or anything. There it is. Y'all see it? Guess he was back here pushing trees out of the way, trying to open up the trail. He got a little bit stuck, it looks like. Uh, well, let's see. Let's dump some fuel in and see what happens. Here, let it warm up a little bit and then I'm gonna try to get it out of this hole he's in. One more big one needs to come out, it looks like. Yeah, this one right here. 
holding up the front wheel over there. It looks like there's actually a log on each side of this wheel. That's never going to work. So I think I've got everything out of the way. I need to kind of rock this thing back and forth see if I can't kind of get it up out of there. The problem I'm having is got this big tree in the way. Yeah, you got this big tree blocking the bucket, so I can't do a whole lot of rocking here. We'll give it a shot. We got it out of the first hole. Uh, I'm gonna let it rest for a minute. I don't like being hard on it like that. I know we could take it, but it's an old tractor. I like to baby it, so. Yeah, we got it out y'all. Damn, it wasn't stuck too bad, but it was stuck good enough. It was just in an awkward position, you know? I mean, you got a mound of dirt behind it. You got trees in front of it. You got logs wedging the tires in. I finally managed to get the bucket to go all the way up. That was another issue I was having is that the bucket wouldn't come up. The hydraulic fluid's a little low. Let's get this thing back to the house. So we've got the tank back to the shop. I'll probably blow a little bit of air through it with the air compressor and then we're going to clean up the sending unit, replace the pump, get it all put back together. I may have showed you guys this in the past. These make excellent blowers to go on your air compressor. Just take a male and a female. These are just the little air compressor fittings like that. Screw the two together. Really simple. Put it on the end, and dude, this will blow so much air, way better than those little blower, you know, the blow guns and all that. This like puts out maximum air pressure. Okay, so new fuel pump about to go in. Let's see if we can figure this out. Let's see if that gets us anywhere by removing that. Spin that thing around this way so we can get a hold of it a little better. Yeah, this hose has to come off of this tube here, and this whole thing here should slip off of here. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Let's see. Sometimes if I have a difficult hose that doesn't want to come off, I'll take me a little pick or a really tiny screwdriver and just kind of pry up underneath it. Take my WD-40 or whatever you're using and just slip the nozzle right up in there, right? Yeah, just give it that little number right there, just kind of force that tube right up in there and now we can kind of work this around just a little bit and man that hose should slip right off of there now now i gotta figure out how this slips off of here this bottom piece uh this filter doesn't really matter i think we could get rid of it get it out of the way get that off there new uh new pump came with the filter and a uh, little filter screen I'm just feeling it. It feels all chunky inside of there. Uh, for real, man, how does this come off of here? Maybe I need to go get my little owner's manual. Do a little reading. I don't know. See, this slides up and down like that on the spring. 
Oh, it just seems like this should just slip right off the end of here. There, I think it is, actually. I haven't got the hose to come loose yet. Let's see what's fighting me right there. I just want to be really careful. I don't want to pull this and then end up with a uh, end up with a broken wire. This wire right here is kind of tight going around over there. I wonder if I should get that out of there and give myself a little bit of slack. There, that's much better. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, so now we got that out of harm's way. Ah, okay, cool. Now we're off. We're good to go now. Check out our new pump here, and we will do a little side-by-side -side comparison, make sure they gave us the right stuff. Came with a brand new hose, so I guess we'll put that on there. Came with new clamps too, cool, all right. We'll slip the new pump on there. Tighten that clamp up. And then this just pops right onto the bottom here. Well, alrighty, she's going in. Make sure you don't forget your little rubber o ring there. You'll be leaking if you don't. Make sure you turn this the right way. Remember, the fuel lines are facing the same way that the uh, filler neck is facing. So, kind of took note of that. Common sense, really, but you know, you could put this in backwards, I do believe. You could put it facing the wrong way, you know? Wouldn't want that. So, anyway, gonna get this tightened up. We're gonna get it back in the truck here in just a few minutes. Okay, going back in. Find my bolts. There we go. That's pretty easy. Not too bad at all. We're getting close. Well, we're right back where we started. Last time we tried this, we didn't have any luck. Cross your fingers, man. Maybe we'll do better this time. I think I'm going to modify our filler neck. See if we can't get rid of the big old floppy thing. I will come over here and shorten this thing. You know, uh, in case I didn't mention it before, we're actually going to be replacing this whole tank eventually with the fuel cell because this all has to get relocated. You know what I mean? Um, the truck's too long. Everything, you know, this this Nissan was slightly bigger than this old Datsun. So uh, we have a, a little more Nissan than we did Datsun. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we got to cut some of this back with my clamp. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to shorten it in this area. And that's right where the tank is at, obviously. So it's got to go. And usually to do a four link suspension and all that kind of stuff like we're wanting to do anyway, all of that stuff got to go. So usually fuel cell is the way to go. Come on now, get on that. Okay. I think that's gonna get it though, right there. 
So I've got everything hooked up. Battery's on the charger just in case it needs it. Uh, what I wanna do now is I wanna catch a little bit of fuel in this uh, water jug here. Yeah, I just wanna cycle a little bit of fuel through that line, fresh fuel. See if we can't flush it out, make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, so let's see what we got. It don't look good. No, that's nasty. Uh, that's just old fuel going through the uh, the old fuel filter, that which is located right there. Uh, I got a brand new one for it, but like I said, we're just going to do this a few more times and just kind of flush out the system, and then we'll put the new filter on there and plug everything up. Oh, battery sounds pretty weak. We better fire that charger up. So let's see what we got this time. You can kind of see where it was darker, at, kind of darker at the bottom, then it starts to lighten up. So we're getting better. All right, we got the battery charger hooked up now. A little too far on that one, but look how clean the fuel is now, y'all. Oh, that's nice. Not bad, not bad at all. I think we can run it now. All right, so I'm getting my new fuel filter put on. I believe it goes right there. Just about ready to fire this thing. I'm gonna crank it through a little bit, get some oil pressure, get the oil circulating through the motor before we just kick it right off. Been cranking on it for just a little bit now. I believe we got some pretty good oil circulation going on. So let's plug in the coil wire. See if we can get it to fire up. All right, it's gonna be a little clicky at first. Gotta build up pressure all the way up in there to, to the rocker arms and all of that. It'll quiet down in a minute. Well, hell, we finally got it, y'all. That was uh, it was a little bit of work, but luckily all that was uh, easy to do as far as dropping the tank and all of that. wasn't a whole lot. And uh, well, you could hear some clicking going on. That's very common on these these KA twenty four E engines. Uh, they got these weird little plunger things on the rocker arms, and uh, they like to get kind of clogged up, dirty. So uh, we'll go through, we'll probably clean all that out and make that problem go away. It's always done that. It's done that ever since I bought it, and. Uh, under normal use, like actually getting to drive it here and there, it stops, it goes away, and you won't even hear it anymore. But after it sits for a long time, every time, we gotta hear it as soon as we fire it up. Yeah, I've actually got some spare ones right here. This is what they look like, the rocker arms, and they got these little plunger things on the end of these rocker arms, and that's the clicking sound that you're hearing. They're spring-loaded. And sometimes that they just get clogged up. Sometimes they even wear out. See that? That is spring loaded, how that pushes in there. That's what it's supposed to do. And you can feel these, these are stuck. All of these are stuck. This is some old stuff that we have left laying around from another job, another truck that we had worked on before. But that's another project for another time, you guys. Stay tuned on this. We are uh, gonna keep going right along with it. Now I've got it where I can pull it in and out of the shop. I don't have to push it so much. So uh, now I, I'm gonna be working on this thing all the time. I, I can't wait to get it all welded up. I wanna drive this thing. It'd be a really fun truck, I think. So stay tuned. We got plenty of videos coming up. We got lots of welding left to do. We ain't done there. Uh, we still gotta weld in all the inner structure so we can start fitting our sheet metal, our fenders, our hood, all that kind of stuff. And then once that's done, we're gonna come back here 
all that's got to come right back out. We got to shorten the frame in this area somewhere because like I said, it is too long and uh, that's going to make the bed fit. And then once that's done, we got to C notch it. So lots of work left to be done as you could probably tell just by looking at it, right? But we got it capable of moving under its own power again. That is great, man. That's a big accomplishment, I think. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, you guys. I'll see y'all next time.